Hello and welcome back. It's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and I'm back sort of. I just love Elden Ring so freaking much. It's literally one of the best game I've played in I don't know how long and so I want to make guides for it because I want everybody in the world to play this game. So the Valiant Gargoyles is a boss that a lot of people are struggling with right now. I see a ton of guides on YouTube and only 4.5% of people on Steam have this achievement. And I'll show you guys the easiest possible way you can do to beat the Valiant Gargoyles right now. And honestly, you can beat them if you do exactly this. So first, look at your level. Because I first encountered this boss, I was level 79, and I tried to beat it with a pure dex build, samurai build, for two hours straight, and I got my ass whooped. And I just could not beat them. So I went to bed and told myself, I'll come up with a strategy tomorrow because I cannot deal with this tonight. Fuck you, and I'll see you tomorrow. So first things first, if you are under level 82, go back and level up. I beat them at exactly 82. It's my non-scientific findings that this is a really good level to try and beat this boss at. And the second thing that can help anyone beat this boss is to respec and use Blood Slash. Now if you have any kind of dex build, or if you're using like a prisoner, go and get yourself Bloody Slash and go and respec in Dex and Arcane. I'm telling you, this Art of War that does so much freaking damage to these guys, you won't even need to actually strike with your weapon. And even if you're doing a strength build, like honestly, get yourself a Dex weapon and respec in Dex and Arcane. And favor uh, Vigor over Endurance because obviously using bloody slash will take like 3% of your health each time and so it's better to have more health than as endurance. So on to the fight itself. This fight is extremely hard for melee builds only because you have to be close to these guys. You have to dodge really well and they do a ton of damage and their AoE is complete crap. Literally, it covers like three quarters of the freaking arena. The hitbox is ridiculous. It builds up three times faster than Scarlet Rot and does at least three times more damage than Scarlet Rot. So now that you have OP Blood Slash and you're good to go and erase their freaking health bar, you have to be aware of the attack pattern and how to strategically go about this fight. The first guy, the one with the great axe and the sword, his swings are all extremely late. So you have to roll really late, especially when he switches weapons. He'll like do a spin and it'll take forever. You have time to go run a 5k, come back and it'll still be in his startup animation. So you have to roll really late, stay close to their legs, both of them. But when he does the AOE, don't think, oh, I'll just get like three or four hits in because he's not moving. You're gonna die. You're literally going to die. The only way you can do this is if you're behind him and he starts to breathe out the poison from his tank ass breath, then you can get one bloody slash in. But just one. Don't be greedy. And that's the entire strategy for this fight. Stay close to their legs, only do one bloody slash to punish them after they attack and you dodge it. Because anything else will get you hit. But obviously you want to hack away at axe and sword guy first once he's down. You're gonna have Mr. Twinblade all to yourself, and his attacks are way more annoying, but they do a lot of outward damage, so if, again, you stay close to his legs, you should be fine. But just know that his Twinblade attacks are very hard to understand how to roll out of, because you don't know where it's gonna hit you, it just looks weird. So either roll close to his legs, or roll to the left. The left has always saved my butt in this fight, especially when the first one does his like light beam or whatever it is, it is always roll to the left or if you roll to the right, you'll get hit. And when they do their like tornado art of war attack, it seems that the hitbox of that tornado is like on the outside of it. So if you stay close to his legs, technically you'll be fine. But if you get hit by one of the twin blade hits or a sword hit, then it'll push you into the tornado and do even more damage. So that is the way you beat these guys. They are freaking annoying. I could not believe that Miyazaki created a boss fight that is such bullcrap, like actual bullcrap. But you know what? It was fun to figure out a strategy for it, so maybe he was right. I really hope this helps you beat them. Please let me know how the fight went or what you did because obviously, you know, magic is gonna do a lot of damage against these guys and it's really good for any boss fight that you have trouble with. But if you're like me and you had a melee build, then this is the easiest way 
to take them down. So have yourself a wonderful day and I'll probably make more Elden Ring guides in the very near future.